A roof collapse left him in a coma for 10 years, but there was that one day that caught the world's attention. And that was 10 years ago today that some believe a medical miracle happened right here in western New York. It was the day that fallen Buffalo firefighter Don Herbert woke up from a coma. News 4's George Rickard is here with a look back. George? It was a day that caught the medical world's attention and gave hope to other families who have loved ones suffering brain trauma. Today, I sat down with Don Herbert's son. It was just a big shock to get that phone call. Patrick Herbert will never forget the day in 2005 when his mother called him saying, Dad's talking. Buffalo firefighter Donald Herbert had been in a coma for the previous nine years. Patrick rushed to the nursing home to see his dad. Hi, Dad. And, uh... He perked right up, looked around, and, you know, said, Patrick. It was just amazing. For 16 special hours that day, friends and family poured in. Patrick introduced his future wife for the first time. It was great to be able to talk to him and tell him all my accomplishments. So, you know, just looking back at that, that's, that was the greatest thing I had from that day, you know. But it wouldn't last. The experiment of drugs that would normally treat attention deficit or Parkinson's disease only worked for a day. He died a year later. But to this day, his name is still on the side of Buffalo's Rescue One, where he served that night in 1996 when a roof collapsed on him, causing permanent brain damage. Rescue One now happens to be where Patrick works. In fact, of the four boys in the family, two are Buffalo firefighters, two are Buffalo police officers, following in the footsteps that he taught them of hard work and civil service. We pretty much wouldn't be where we're at without him. So I'm, I'm sure he's more than, more than pleased looking down on us. A relative of the Herbert family actually wrote a book about that day. It's called The Day Donnie Herbert Woke Up.